John Legend had his pick of beautiful women to choose from, including rumored romances with models Teo Otiti and Jessica White. At the height of his career, he had no intention of settling down, but there was one woman who captured his heart. Here's the reason John Legend gave up his bachelor lifestyle and settled down with Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen and her family moved to Huntington Beach, California. She landed a job at a surf shop, and when a cameraman wandered in and asked her to shoot some bikini pictures, Chrissy's dad agreed it would be a great opportunity. Her dad accompanied her to the shoot location and even helped out by holding up the light reflectors. Chrissy turned out to be a pro, and the cameraman really liked her vibe. According to Vanity Fair, he was hired to direct the music video for John Legend's song, Stereo, and he showed the singer one of Chrissy's photos. John thought she would be a good fit as his leading lady. On the day of the shoot, she wandered into his dressing room to meet him and was surprised to find him ironing his clothes in his underwear. She gave him a big hug and she told LUK they clicked immediately. But to this day, Chrissy is embarrassed by her appearance in the music video. She told Cosmo magazine she was doing this fake model dancing with the most dead eyes you've ever seen in a human. Regardless, she made an impression on John. It wasn't love at first sight for Chrissy. She told the magazine she didn't find him sexy initially, but when John made the first move, she was all for it. After chatting throughout the 14-hour shoot, he invited her back to his hotel room where they ate In-N-Out burgers. Chrissy told Cosmo, I'm not going to lie, we hooked up. Chrissy wasn't concerned he would lose interest after getting intimate the first day they met. She had just gotten out of a relationship and wasn't looking for a new boyfriend anyway. But she also wasn't aware that John had a reputation for hooking up with models. Things were different with Chrissy, and he made it clear he wasn't interested in having a one-night stand when he invited her to watch him perform at the Roxy Theater. The very next day after his performance, he headed out on tour, and Chrissy told LUK they talked on the phone for hours, but she never thought he would be the guy she would marry. She was just living in the moment. Two months after meeting, Chrissy turned 21, and John sang happy birthday to her on her voicemail, but there was no time for a birthday date. He was still on tour, and Chrissy spent the next year texting and talking to him on the phone. Eventually, she started to really like him, so it was difficult for her to see pictures of him on the red carpet with other women. While she told Cosmo she wanted to let him be himself for a while, she admitted to Vanity Fair she would read gossip blogs to gather information about his former girlfriends. Chrissy told the magazine she saw all the rumors about John being in the closet and paying women to be his beard. She became obsessed with finding more and more information about him, but she knew the worst thing she could do was try to lock someone like him down early on. So she never asked him about the status of their relationship. Besides, getting married was never really her goal. Despite the rumors that John was entertaining other women during the same time he was seeing Chrissy, he told Vanity Fair things became serious between them quickly. They spent a lot of time apart while he was on tour, but it was Chrissy's entertaining text messages that won him over. He said, I didn't know that I wanted someone funny until I was actually with someone funny. Chrissy began booking more modeling gigs and she left home to work in Miami for half of the year. She slept in the living room of an apartment she shared with six other models. She told Vanity Fair she would party all the time and she didn't make a lot of money. Thankfully, John helped her out by occasionally wiring her money, and whenever he visited Miami for a show, he would book a room for them at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. After leaving, he allowed Chrissy to stay there for a few extra days, and she and her roommates would raid the minibar and go swimming in the hotel pool. Being broke had its advantages, though. Chrissy told Glamour she treated John to dinner early on in their relationship. The restaurant was very expensive, and as she sipped on a $40 margarita and feasted on a salmon spread, she prayed her card wouldn't get declined. She knew she couldn't afford to take him out to any more extravagant dinners, and that's when she discovered her love for cooking. She started off by making her own version of a salmon spread. Then she moved on to perfecting a chipotle barbecue chicken recipe. She found out she was decent at putting together her own meals, and John fell in love with her cooking, and with Chrissy. He told E.T. online as they continued texting and talking on the phone, he started to realize Chrissy was someone he wanted to spend more time with between tour stops. He could feel things were headed toward marriage, 
He said when you feel a real connection with somebody, for me it wasn't nerves, it was more like excitement. She went out on tour with him, and at one point he got really sick. John told The Guardian he became really stressed and was super busy with his career, so he thought he'd be much happier if he were single. When he tried to break up with Chrissy, her response was simply, no. She told Cosmo their breakup lasted for just one day, and things returned back to normal. In 2007, they took their first trip together to Lake Como, Italy. In an Instagram post, Chrissy said it was during that getaway she knew she wanted to spend the rest of her life with him. They went out on a boat, and the tour guide took them to a special spot and asked them to make a wish. Chrissy wrote, I asked for this to be the man I marry and have children with. In December 2011, John booked a trip to the Maldives. They got into a huge fight at the airport because they had opened their Christmas presents beforehand. And Chrissy told Fab Life she was disappointed that he bought her a cookbook and a crock pot. But there was a much bigger gift waiting around the corner. When they reached their destination, John had everything decorated for them in celebration of Christmas, which just so happens to be Chrissy's favorite holiday. She told Oprah's next chapter that after eating dinner, the waiter came out with a silver dome for dessert. She opened it and a bunch of arugulas fell out. After digging through it, she saw a little jewelry box and her heart stopped. She said, there was no big grand speech or anything. I think it was just very lovely and sweet. They were officially engaged. They planned for their wedding to take place in Lake Como, Italy, the same place where they took their first trip as a couple. But Chrissy told E! News they didn't realize their marriage wouldn't be legal unless they got married in the States beforehand. So a day before their actual ceremony, they went to a New York City courthouse and made things official. The next day, they jetted off to Italy for their second ceremony. They were anxious to start a family, but fertility struggles prompted them to seek out other methods. She told Self Magazine they decided to try in vitro fertilization. She experienced a bit of weight gain and bruising on her stomach, but John remained supportive throughout the entire process. In October 2015, she announced her pregnancy, and in April 2016, she gave birth to their daughter, Luna. Chrissy was ecstatic to be a new mom, and she couldn't believe how perfect her daughter was, but she was also hiding a secret from the world. She went back to work on the show Lip Sync Battle four months after giving birth. She and Luna were treated wonderfully on set, but Chrissy noticed her attitude and personality had changed. She was mean to people on set, and on the day she didn't have to go to work, she would stay at home on the exact same spot on the couch. John was her rock during this time and would even sleep on the couch with her, sometimes four nights in a row. After seeking help, she was diagnosed with postpartum depression and anxiety. Instead of leaving her to deal with it on her own, John would celebrate with Chrissy on her good days and remain by her side during the bad days. He would bring her her medication and watch hours of reality TV. She told Glamour that never once did he get frustrated or ask her to snap out of it. Things improved for her, and after another round of IVF treatment, she became pregnant with their second child. In May 2018, she gave birth to their son, Miles. In an interview with The Today Show, John said the recipe for marital bliss is love, respect, and admiration. He also said he and Chrissy really enjoy each other's company, and she constantly makes him laugh. And when he was asked by ET Online about the most influential person in his life, he gave the honor to Chrissy. As for Chrissy, she told Glamour Magazine, John has seen her at her worst, but she can't say the same about him. From the start, he has remained the same person, compassionate, patient, loving, and understanding. Let us know your thoughts on John and Chrissy's love story. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.